Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA here. And today on the Beretta channel or the CZ 9mm USA channel, I just wanted to bring you a quick knife review. I like to do two or three of these a year as of last year anyway, trying to bring you some different knife choices out there. I do not claim to be an expert in knives, but I do kind of know what I like. This is Zach Brown's Southern Grind Company and it is the Bad Monkey, it's called. And it actually has a great list of options that they write out on a sheet that I'm going to go over with you real quick. So this is exactly how it came. It says whose is assembled by, and it also says who the inspector was from Southern Grind. So that's kind of cool. And this is the cheat sheet, if you will, of all the great stuff that's on the knife and what the knife is made of. Comes in a pretty cool little gift bag there. So the packaging definitely gets a 10. If you like stuff that's packaged well, I believe uh, this definitely fits that bill. I like to do my knife reviews in about five minutes or less, so that's what we're shooting for. Kind of a bigger knife as far as a straight up carry knife, but it is fairly light. So let's go ahead and go over the specs on a knife real quick on the Bad Monkey. The handle length itself, this piece right here, is 5.25 inches. The blade length is a four inch blade. A beautiful four inch blade at that. Nicely finished, I'm gonna call it a leaf design. Great thickness in the blade itself, so it should be a strong blade. And here, because I'm not a knife expert, I'll tell you it says 14C28N, and then it gives, I think, a serial number of 00750 on the blade. A really cool grip material here on the handle of the knife. So let's see what else it says. The weight on it is 4.97 ounces. So to me, a great weight is around four ounces. So this is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. You get a little bit of weight when you start getting into a bigger knife. But this knife also fills your hand completely. I wear an XL glove, as you guys know, and my hand is good size. And I feel very comfortable and confident in this grip. Some jimping right there. The stud is right there. It's an interlocking system right there. It's got a very small belt clip right there with not much else that would be showing above the belt line, right? Or the pocket line. So that I think is a plus. So check your state and make sure that you can carry a four inch blade because some I think are restricted as far as how long the blade can be. The grind, they call it a conventional flat grind. So that's the grind right here on the blade itself. And they do say the blade steel is 14C28N, and I'm not familiar with that. I would like to see something like D2 or L-Max or something like that, a, a better quality steel. Blade thickness, 0 0.13 inches. And like I said, I like the thickness of it. To me, it should be somewhat durable. Don't be using it as a pry bar, right? And the handle is a Jade Ghost Green G10. And it does have, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see, yeah, some grippy texture on it right here with a picture of the monkey. It's a very nice looking knife. Construction to it on the inside, some drilling out of it to try to keep the weight somewhat under control. And it's got a couple of uh, standoffs on it. So it'll be nice and easy to clean without fully taking it apart if you don't want to. And lastly, it says the lock and liner are a GAL4V titanium. The lock right here and the liner, the entire liner, I think, is made of titanium. I think it's super cool. I'm gonna have to check on the price. I think the prices are somewhere around like 250 or something like that. At Blade HQ, $261. So I was very close at about 250 bucks. $261 at Blade HQ for the Southern Grind Bad Monkey Drop Point Knife. Jade Ghost Green G10. They call it a four inch satin blade. And that's exactly what we have here. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel and the CZ 9mm USA channel. As we continue to try to grow both channels, we appreciate you subscribing and clicking on the bell icon so you get notified when the next videos are up. Until the next time, guys, please stay safe out there, especially if you're traveling or around the big cities. I, I think it's a dangerous time here in 2023. So be safe. We'll see you on the next video. And remember, your second amendment is worth protecting.
And one more. A beautiful knife. Thank you and goodbye.